every other female I know when they saw them went, oh, because it just takes you back to your childhood. And that's why our next guests are here, and Sean's here with all the details. Thank you, Lisa. What was a visit to the show all those years ago without a Cupid doll? They are a great little Aussie invention, and the work that goes into each and every one means that the dolls have a personality all of their own. Isn't that right, ladies? That's right. Welcome to the show, Nina Thank and you. Josephine, mother and daughter. Been making Cupid dolls for how many years? Forty odd years. Forty odd years. I have. Yeah. And before you, Nina? My mother and my mother and my auntie. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So when did you start? being involved in shows that had Cupid dolls at them? Oh, when I was about oh, five, I'd say. Five years of age? Yeah. You're a hardened Cupid doll maker, <laughs> aren't you? You really are. What have you done to your daughter? You've brought her in on it as well, Nina. No, I meant that I can remember my mother making them when I was about five. That's extraordinary. And Josephine? Yes, I can remember them all around the house and glitter everywhere. When I think I started working at the show when I was about 16 and I never had an Easter holiday. It was very upsetting. It was. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have one now. <laughs> well, this is the thing, because the Cupid doll, it really is an Aussie icon. What were you ladies thinking when they made their way out onto, the, onto Stadium Australia? I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> Did, had you any idea that that was going to happen? No, I didn't. Which is no, quite they strong. were perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, absolutely they were beautiful. beautiful, I thought. So tell me, they've been on so many stands, and I remember at the Easter show, Cupid dolls everywhere. Sister wanted them. We wanted to drag our sister away from them. Mm -hmm. How do you make them? Well, originally the dolls were imported from Japan, and they were made of celluloid. And of course they squashed quite easily, but uh, then they made the plastic dolls. And, uh, well, you sew a placket in the middle of them, and then first we used to use wool to tie them onto the doll, but it was, it was all right, but not real successful. Then we got onto the idea of using hat elastic. And worked well? Very well, and this, we've been using it up till today. This is what I love: is the actual uh, setup or the displays. There was always a hail, uh, a bay of uh, <laughs> a hay <high> bale. <laughs> been to too many shows, too many kids off. And the chicken wire around them, where these just stood out from miles away. Yes, very attractive. Well, they look beautiful. They surely yes. do. We've got a couple of pictures here of a classic old stand of Cupid dolls. I mean, when would that photo have been taken? I can't remember. That would be. That, it looks a like very something old, uh, The old stands were just like a wire mesh on a, uh, a platform type of thing. And we carried everything in those um, chests there made of um, hay. 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 No, not hay. Uh, made of cane. Oh, cane. Cane. Made <laughs> of cane. Uh, and. Um, We've got another quick. We've got another quick photo. This is the one I remember. I mean, this, this is what I remember from the East show: the pink house, the pink yes, doll house, it's beautiful, with the it? Cupid dolls absolutely mm. everywhere. They are wonderful. So, in the future, are they going to continue? Are they going to continue with the show because they're having a bit of a tough run at the moment. I think Josephine should answer that. Oh well, we're not doing them anymore, okay. uh, unfortunately. I'm going to have an Easter holiday instead. <laughs> uh, no, it's been put out to big business, and they're have all the stands, the outside stands now, and they'll be selling them. Perhaps they will make a, a comeback because of the closing ceremony. Oh, yes, definitely. Ladies, thank you very much. Them. Extraordinary that you've been involved for so long. If you'd like a doll, you can contact Carnivali and Toy Wholesale on 02 9660 Nina and Josephine, all the very best. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Lovely. We're off to the marketplace.